whenever you see Kalitha, you must have thought that why is it structured like this? You must have seen that it looks like a black flower. But if you look a little closely, you will find that in this big flower, many small flowers are included. All these flowers are similar in appearance and look like small forms of a big flower. Such a similar structure is called autosimilarity. Our nature is very unique, in which there are many examples of such shapes like snowflakes or tree branches, etc. Cauliflower has a very high level of similarity in which there are, can be seven or more birds that look like a single bird. When the plant starts to form the seed, then all the plants are curved like a spiral shape. In fact, some with special genes found in plants increase their activity during this time. These particular genes have their effect on each other in their gene network at a particular time and in a particular area. Researchers have found in research that there are four types of genes which are responsible for the size of cauliflower. Their name are S, A, L and T. If you want to remember it easily, you can just remember that salt, S, A, L and T. When the cauliflower plant starts growing, flower to come out from the middle but due to a gene called A, it is unable to do this. Then it turns into a stem instead of turning into a flower. You will be well aware of the stem found in the plant. Not only the stem of cauliflower, other stems are also formed like common stems in it. These type of leaves do not come out. These stems give rise to similar birds in appearance increasing their number. When these same birds become more in number, it becomes the main flower of the cauliflower plant. Thanks for watching.